I am truly glad to be here. Amazing where the Lord can bring you from sometimes. I was out in sin. And I was sitting back and I was drinking with my friends and I thought I was having a good time. And one time I woke up and I felt a little empty inside. I didn't know what I was missing in my life. And I went to Mom. I was like, Mom, what's going on? I know you drove me to church from time to time. Time to time I felt a little good in Jesus, but I don't know all about it. Yeah, give me a little taste back when I was younger, boys. And I didn't know what I was missing. I felt felt a little lost in life. I didn't know where I was going, didn't know where I was ahead. Amen. And uh, I started reading my Bible when I was under conviction for about a year and three months. And I went on and I promised God, I said, I'll follow you. A man stopped at my work and said, God told me to stop here today. He said, I just wanted to talk to you a little while about you soul. He said, I just don't understand why you ain't saved, Brandon. He said, you seem like you know a little bit about the Bible. Why don't you come on to Jesus? I said, well, it's my lifestyle. I said, I still drink a little bit. I still go from time to time. And I just didn't know where I was heading in life. And I prayed that night. I said, God, I'll come to you. I didn't follow. I run back out in the world. And you know when you pray if you're being heard or not. Amen. And I couldn't feel that feeling no more. And I went on and I felt so lost in life. I didn't know where I was ahead anymore. And I just couldn't feel that feeling that I felt when I first started praying to God. And I prayed on my couch and tears fell to the floor. I kneeled down late at night. I didn't know where I was headed. And I run and I run. Some of my friends, I said, will you go to church with me this Easter down at Montgomery Baptist? They said, yeah, we may. I said, Mom, will you go? Nobody went. On a Thursday night, some of my friends said, we're going to a revival. Will you come to church with us? I said, yeah, I will. I've been needing to go for a long time. And they said, all this stuff in there and it fit me to the knees. It's yeah. like God was talking to me and I got that spirit back one more time. Amen. I didn't go that night. Brother Darren preached, he said. He said, I was young and I tried to give 80% to God and keep 20 for myself. And it really hit me hard. Amen. I, said, I said, how in the world can I get this 20% to myself? And it's like God spoke to me. He said, come join us in fellowship with my people. Uh, and I come back that next sure. night and I planned to go out with my friends and party a little bit, Brother Fred. I didn't know it was a Friday night. Brother Cullen sings, glory, glory, glory. Yeah. Everybody else raises their hand on Sunday. I have to raise mine on Friday, but it means something to me. I know where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed Amen. to be on hill drive with my buddies. Amen. But I didn't. I was on the altar praying to God to save my soul. I said, Jesus, come into my life. Yes, sir. It's the best feeling I've ever had ever since then. I, I've not went back out in the world. I've had no desire to. That empty feeling got filled up inside of me. Yeah. Just Lord, bless us today. Get your song, brother.